Hi, Azrael Johnson. Shit's about to go down. All right, just point it at the person. Occasionally point it out into the audience to get reactions and stuff like that. It'll be fun. Are you doing live reactions, of course? All right, welcome to the makeshift maker space. Woo! And the grand, oh, yeah. the grand uh, showcase, is that what we're calling this? <laughs> grand showcase. <laughs>
open and steal the gray from inside, but we don't have time.
Grants are provided to public arts and integration programs, urban revitalization, and community-wide events that celebrate the arts, such as this one, the Grand Showcase.
but in recognizing this very moment. That is where true opportunity lies. This one's called 3,000 Leagues. 3,000 Leagues Under the Sea. That's where you'll find my most mortem and me. So lonely inside, so busy out there. The key that's in hand, the lock doesn't share. 3,000 miles above the trees. That's where she lingers most alone, yet least free. A voice is whispered amid the breeze. She doesn't hear them, she doesn't see. 3,000 moments pass in each day, both smiles and sorrows wasted away. A warm hand is offered. She wants him to stay. He doesn't feel her. His dreams hide him away. 3,000 layers within a nesting doll. There lies a figure so alive and so strong. With a message to send, not to receive, a world of creators created to exceed. 3,000 leaves under the sea. That's where you'll find my postmortem enemy. So lonely inside, so busy out there. The key that's at hand, the lock doesn't share.
you're feeling as greedy for love and quarters as I've been feeling lately. Thank you. Clean shirt, fresh bandages, 
We will cold air freezing my elbow to death. You had made your feelings very clear. But it would still have been nice to talk to you for a little while. Thanks, I gave her a card. Feels good, and the cat is in the trash can when we come back. 
and the strange girl is gone, and none, none, blah, blah, and none of us ever want to stop feeling good. Sexist attitudes? Would we encourage them to stop being sexist? 
on Thursdays? Since we know not being sexist every day would be too sudden a change for him. Are we against family separation on the weekends? Do we oppose rape on Fridays? Do we show racism every other Tuesday? Is pedophilia intolerable the first Sunday of the month? If we deem something wrong, how could it be wrong only some of the time? Is convenience a justification for our morals? Do we really only have the willpower for 14.3% follow through on our values? Gears. We're going to shift gears slightly here in the next couple. The next one's the shortest poem one stanza here. It's called Failed Poetry. I try to write a poem expressing my views on current politics, but I only end up plagiarizing Robert De Niro. <laughs> this one's called Too Busy with Excuses. Disgusted with violence, with thoughts and prayers as their only protection, students walk out. Shut up, they are told. Sit in class. You are in a democracy, but don't participate. Gun control won't help, you stupid liberal. People will still get guns, just like they get heroin. But I noticed legalizing heroin wasn't in your game plan. The Second Amendment gives me the right to my AR-15. Does it give you the right to a tank, a rocket launcher, a hand grenade, a missile, a nuclear bomb? Don't we already agree that it's not a blanket right for civilians to own any weapon they desire? The Second Amendment is in the Constitution, but they don't seem fond of the First right now. You can't change the Second Amendment, you know, amendments, the changes we made to the Constitution. Yeah, you can't change the changes, apparently. <laughs> when we tell students not to use their voice, we are encouraging apathy. When we tell people nothing can change, we are ignoring history. This country is encouraging hate. We are empowering racist thoughts. We are perpetuating toxic masculinity. We are profiting from greed. We are breeding fear. And then we are arming a scared, hateful population, with weapons meant to rapidly kill numerous people. And then, yes, we are dying. But sit back down, students. We are too busy with excuses to make any changes. Hmm? This is all our definition of love. Is it will die. Can we, as I often hear, both love and eat an animal? Can we cherish a horse before we gobble her up? Will we call that love? Can we admire the grace of a dolphin or the strength of an elephant before turning him into stew? Do we call that love? Oh, my sweet, adorable poodle, how I loved you until I got hungry and heated the barbecue. <laughs> this one I wrote this morning, actually, um, and this you is very good like idea. We all have a line, a line. I love this line, not just vegans, but the animals we won't eat. I'm fairly certain no one in this room is open to all 5,000 plus mammals and 9,000 reptiles and 2 million insects out there, 10,000 birds and 27,000 fish species in the world. We all have some lines of which ones we won't eat. So this one examines that idea. And do you have a line, a line for which you draw to sort out the animals, to help you sort out, sort the animals? Sort out. Do you have a line, a line for which you draw to help you sort the animals from tiger to macaw? Who will snuggle in your bed? Who will you flatten in a trap? Who will, you, who will sit upon your plate? Who will sit upon your lap? Which ones do you cherish? Which ones get a knife? Which ones do you leave alone to just be wild? Which ones deserve protection? Which ones deserve love? Which ones simply get a blade to remove their precious blood? Which ones do you make, which ones do you cage and make jump through fiery hoops? Which ones do you cram inside? Tiny metal poops. Is the answer in their voices of what you will allow? Do you eat the ones who moo, but never ones who meow? Is the answer neatly packaged inside the grocery store? Is this where you will make the choice between horse and wild boar? When seated in a restaurant to have a bite to eat, is coyote on the menu in which to sink your teeth? Is the answer in the drive-thru supersized with fries? Is this where you will make the choice? Which one lives and which one dies? How did you decide this line of life and death, choosing one another, should take their final breath? Was it carefully determined? Were your options fully weighed? Or did you simply follow the way others first behaved? Take the time to ask yourself where your line will be and whether you want to fill your plate with death and misery. 
if God, in his infinite wisdom, or herbs, or bits, or there, gave you chickens to munch on, were you also given pears? Last one is called Just a Drink. A helpless female, held against her will, penetrated and now pregnant. Held captive, no chance of escape. The baby grows for months and months inside her belly. The mother, ready to love her baby, despite her circumstances, delivers a baby boy. The baby, only longing for the comfort of his mother. The mother, only longing to be near her new son. The baby feels himself pulled away, further and further until he can no longer see her, ever again. The mother, helplessly watching, bellows and bellows, for days and days in search of a baby who will never return. The son stands in a dark crate, malnourished, alone. Soon his pale flesh will sit on a plate. His skin, no longer attached, will cover your hands when they get cold. The milk his mother produced to nourish him and help him grow sits in your cup. Thank you very much. Walking through it, looking at that camera. Uh, this is perhaps one of my favorite ones so far. Uh, it's a, a name like Cher or Madonna. Um, and you never know what you're going to get. Rachel? <laughs> Disbelief I would ever let you hold me. 
there are ten things I hate about you and more. It is abundantly clear how I do not want you near. It is a curse that you read between the lines. You know the hidden meanings and captured my heart and your cause. You squeeze the life out of me every chance you get. Somehow it hasn't been enough yet. You are the only one who will get this, which makes me furious. I push you away and turn the corner, and there you are. Running stairs down an alley, and there you are. Crazy, crazy and falling up, all cut up and wounded. You are singing rancid over my body. Love with this 
empower every part. Thank you.